we got all our parts placed the uh, next section we're going to look at here is going to be routing where I want to be able to route the copper and rules and what the rules do so I, I might just grab this guy and say you know what I want you to hang out a little bit so this parts threaded I could put a screw on it mount it to something there we go and I might actually want to do that up here too I might want to say, yeah, let's just take this guy and let his pins overhang the board so a connector could get there. We'll save that. And I'll do my view, fit the board. Perfect. Now, to route, uh, we have our tabs here in the bottom. The red tab is copper on the top. The blue tab is copper on the bottom. This is a two-layer board. We can have copper on the top, copper on the bottom. That's what these colors mean. So if I select my top and I tell it I want to interactively route, I could come up here to my toolbar. Let's see, I got a toolbar here somewhere that'll let me route. Uh, route interactive differential is interactive routing. There we go. So I can come here and say, oh, I want to route from here to here and from here to here is that right no it won't let me go there why won't it let me go there oh look at that this one is ground this one's nine volts i can't connect ground and nine volts because the nets don't match altium smart i can route here that works what else do i have oh look there's a ground here right so i can come through like this and hand route some of these nets that's what the interactive routing does. Right click and it stops routing. So there I kind of hand routed. And that's probably what you're going to want to do on most of your designs. A very small, unsophisticated board, you can let Altium route it for you. And I'll show you how to do that. I notice also these traces are thin, so we'll, we'll get to that. I'm going to come here to route and tell it unroute everything. And then I'm going to come up here and say route I'm going to tell it I want you to auto route everything auto route all so this is default two layer board I tell it route all Altium goes to town here we said um, routing finished with zero contentions failed to complete zero connections so Altium's pretty sure it's routed everything now a contention would be I'm trying to get from this pin to this pin but there's a trace in the way, and I can't get over it. That, that happens once in a while. So it, it gets too complicated, and it can't route it. But you see, this one, it, it routed everything without a problem because uh, it's a very simple board. I do worry a little bit about these traces. They're a little too thin. Remember, the thinner the trace, the more resistance it has, uh, and actually a little bit more inductance at high frequencies too. So I'm not happy with this. So I'm going to come up here. To route and tell it I want you to unroute all boop got rid of them now I want to look at rules the default was to route that with that thin trace that trace was 10 mils or ten thousandths of an inch wide nice small trace let's go to route I'm sorry tools and we're going to look at the uh, the rules because we want to be able to adjust and change these rules so we have design rules I'll click on that Here's clearance that says how close can my traces be to something else. Roughly this is saying 10 mils. That's okay. And then routing width. There's the width, top layer and bottom layer. Well, I can tell it I, I want my traces to be 20 mils. I don't like 10 mils. Too thin. Tell it apply. Okay. Let's see what happens now that I've done that. I'm going to save all. I'm going to tell it route, auto route, all. Go ahead and route them. Oh, my traces are heavier now. Look at that. That's good. At any time, if I want to see the properties of the trace, I can take my properties here and pin it in place so it doesn't go away. All I have to do is highlight the trace, right? Just click on it. And I can find out what's the properties on this trace. Well, it tells me the net. That's nice. It tells me the width, 20 mils. It tells me the location, starting, ending, all that. 
So that's that's good to know. Remember when I told you we can use tab to select everything connected? Like here I have several segments on this, right? What if I just click that one little segment there? I want to get them all. So if I click that one to hit tab, I get all of them. That's useful. So I'm looking at this and I'm unhappy. Uh, 20 mils, but really I wanted my ground to be 30 mils and everything else 20. Well, how am I going to do that? That's two different rules. So I'm going to go back to this route and say unroute everything. I'm going to come up here to our schematic. There's a good place. And I'm going to show you another way to add a rule that only affects, say, one net. I'm going to tell it place a directive, a parameter set. And here we go again with the same tool. Before I set the parameter, I hit tab. Great. Now I want to add a rule. And I want to make my rule tell me how wide can I allow, allow that to be. So that's going to be a width constraint. I'm going to tell it I want all those traces to be 30. Tell it OK. And put this here. So now I've put a parameter set. All the grounds have to be 30. I'll save that. And then I need to update this information to the PCB. Remember, I just set it on the schematic. I haven't moved it over yet. So update the PCB. Here we go. Add rule. Yep, with constraint 30. Sounds good. Execute. That's good. So now when I route, I should see something different. Let's try it. I'm going to tell it route, auto route all. No errors. Okay, route. Ah, look at that. If I come here now and click on this guy and I look at my properties, he's 30 mils. If I look at the other traces, they're 20 mils. So there's an easy way to use a rule and make the rules work for you. right? I can add it as a directive on my schematic. Now let's say once in a while I see this happen, so I want to show you how to fix it. Let's just say that segment didn't route. And I've seen Altium do this, not always, but once in a while. You tell it auto route all, and there's a segment that didn't route. And, uh, and that's crazy. I don't know what happens. It thinks that it routed it, but it didn't. So I'm going to come up here and just show you, like, what if I had that thing, like, right there? And so when I zoom out, yeah, it looks good. Everything's routed, right? But I didn't see that little white line. It's not touching. How am I going to fix that? Well, the way to fix that is inside Altium, in the database of Altium, it actually thinks it's routed, but it's not. And when that error happens, if I would just click on the trace, it automatically shows up. It's a bug in Altium. It automatically shows up. Well, I can't go by and click every single trace. So let me show you the fast and tried and true way to do this. I'm going to select right here, just select one segment. That's a top layer. I'm going to right click and say find similar. We're going to be using more filters and stuff like this later, so this won't be the only time you'll see this. But the use for this is to select all the traces at once. And when you do, if it's missing a segment that the auto route missed, it'll add it in. So here it says layer, top layer. I'm going to say same. Make sure you have zoom to matching, select, clear existing, open the properties. I'm going to say apply and OK. Now look, every top trace is selected at the same time. If I had a route that Altium thought it routed, but it didn't draw it on the screen, it would have drawn it on now. So I would do the same thing for the bottom trace. Right click, find similar, tell it same. All those are already set. That's good. Apply. OK. Every bottom trace now is selected. So if Altium thought it routed here but didn't draw it in now it will that's just one of the bugs and you may find this as you use altium if you do auto route stuff you might see when it's done that there's a segment missing and a white line there if you just click that trace 
it'll fill it in. That's okay as long as you can see it. Sometimes when designs get bigger, you can't see it. So I use this function to make sure if I've done any auto routing, it'll fix it. I'm going to move this designator in here. Um, one little use of that filter, right, that uh, makes things a little bit easier for us. So there we go. We've routed it. We routed a top layer, bottom layer. Uh, if I hit my three key again, there we go. We're now showing it with the copper traces on there. I can move this thing around and look at it. Hit the two key again. I go back to my normal schematic. So, I mean, I'm sorry, PCB. So it's, it's uh, routed. The copper traces look okay. Uh, everything's connected. That's probably about all we need on this video. So let's finish up here and we'll start up again on uh, the next video, video number eight.